What's up, guys? If you didn't know, Ubuntu released Ubuntu for Android, and I've installed it on my Nexus 10. I thought I'd check it out. There are two different versions. The tablet version is obviously for tablets, and the phone version works on phones. Pretty much works on all the Nexus devices. You can get a Clockwork Mod Zip that you can install quite easily. Um, obviously, you will lose Android completely, and you will need to uh, flash the uh, stock image from Google to get it to work again. So... Uh, I should mention, guys, it is a developer preview, so a lot of things don't work and it's all a bit buggy. So definitely don't install this if you want to use it as a daily driver. It just isn't quite ready. So the great thing about the uh, Ubuntu, guys, is the fact that the way it works is basically when it's on a tablet, it's a tablet OS. But when you plug in peripherals like a monitor or a mouse, you should be able to get the full Ubuntu desktop experience. And I think that's great. So if you've got it on your phone, you can plug it into something, plug it into a monitor, a mouse, a keyboard, and you'll get a full desktop OS, which is uh, fantastic because it's like we're carrying around computers. But anyway, it doesn't quite work on the developer preview. Enough of that. I'm actually just going to get into what it's like. So we'll tap to unlock here. And you can see you're brought to the home screen. And if you swipe left to right, you can see your different home screens. You've got apps, videos. If I swipe back, can see you've got the home screen again people music and being a developer preview there's a lot of random stuff on here that i have no idea what the hell it is i mean you can't click into any of these things it works but uh, like i said it doesn't work completely so you can see you can click it but nothing happens notification shade up here you've got messages your sound your wi-fi connectivity your battery and your clock you can pull down different sections to get different stuff again i've got loads of random messages that i have no idea who these are from like I said, it's developer preview, so there's a lot of random crap. I just have no idea what it is. I guess they just put it here so you can see how it works. And you can see it's really kind of nice. So if you get a message, you've got a straight reply. If you've got uh, a missed call or something like that, you can message or call back. You can also uh, swipe away, quite obviously. So that's quite nice. I really like that. So far, I've noticed it definitely has potential, but it has got a long way to come as well. So, uh, yeah, being a developer preview, it's, it's pretty smooth for a preview. I've got to say, I'm uh, quite impressed. So let's check out some more of this stuff, guys. Here's our home screen. You can see we've got the frequently apps used up here, and we've got our main apps. Now, apps is the big key, and it's kind of a problem. So at the moment, most of these apps, like Facebook and Gmail, are HTML5 code, which basically means they're just kind of a web app, which kind of sucks, right? So you click it, and you'll see, because Facebook's a phone app, it will just appear on the right, and that's it. You just use it like that, which uh, is kind of annoying because... You know, it's a, it's a web app. We want native code because it's faster. Now, it, it can support native code, but we just need the developers to do that. So, yeah. Um, I just want to mention something about the navigation. You can see no navigational buttons, and it is a bit of a learning curve here. Everything is gestures. So you swipe in from the left here to get your apps, and you can switch between them really nicely. If you pull all the way, you just go back to the home screen. If you pull from the right, you actually uh, get your old app that you just had. So I had Facebook open. If you pull from all the way here, you get back to your home screen. So let's check out some stuff. If we uh, open up the browser here, you can see it's nice and fast. It also, you can see that I can have my uh, phone app like Facebook open from the left. So I can have them both open. I can be doing something here, checking it out and looking at my Facebook as well. That is kind of nice. I really like that multitasking view. You should, in the full version, be able to expand this if you want. I can't. Or you should be able to drag this into the uh, side view panel, which I, uh, again, can't do because it's a developer preview. It's not quite working and stuff like that. And you can see it's just a little bit buggy. So let's go back to the home screen and check it out. Let's have a look. So you can see available for download and some installed apps. Some of them just don't open, like YouTube, you can see. You click them, nothing happens. It's just the way it is at the moment. You can see we can click, open up weather. You can see it again. It opens up in this. Apparently I'm in Las Vegas, which is uh, which is not true. But um, yeah, let's go back to the home screen. If you can see, if I want my recently app used app, you can pull it in from the left. And if you pull up, you should get this little button here, which you can click, and it'll open up this kind of settings thing. You can see your recently app is used. You can say type or say a command over here. You can type in commands. You can pull up and down the keyboard. You can see the gestures are really nice. I mean, yes, it do, does have a little bit to, to come. It's got to be developed some more. But like I said, it's, the, it's a developer preview. So what do you expect, right? Um, let's check out the gallery. We'll open up the gallery here. And loads up. It all looks very nice. I've got to say, it's a nice, clean interface. And once you get used to the gestures, guys, it's really quick and it's really fast to use. We'll uh, open this up, the dog here. You can see it's kind of nice. I can't zoom in again. That's a, an issue that hasn't been uh, fixed yet. But um, oh, I can double tap to zoom. 
nice detail obviously on this uh, Nexus 10 screen. We'll uh, pull back from there. So this little um, window here, you can actually just switch between the apps. So say you wanted to use Gmail, you could quickly use Gmail. You want to use something else, Facebook, you quickly open Facebook. That's what it's like, guys. That's how quick it can be. And you can see you've got your phone interface here if your phone worked. And it is slowing down a bit. And now that seems, to, I seem to have crashed it by using it a little bit too quickly. And you can see it's actually completely crashed. You can see what I mean by it's not a, uh, it's not a daily driver. But um, definitely, definitely, I like the potential of this. And it reminds me of the Kindle Fire interface, the Kindle Fire HD. It's a, you know, really kind of, icon based a lot of tiles and things like that a lot of stuff going on your home screens videos to click into a video oh this one can play interesting let's see what happens so it does actually work it's actually playing kind of jaggedly the sound does work but uh it's there if i can pull anything in from the, from the right no so you've got your settings your share button down here i can, pull something. If I can get back to the home screen Apparently it's still running in the background. So it's actually fully running in the background because that's carrying on while I'm doing stuff. I can pull it back in, it is still playing. So that's quite interesting. The multitasking is fully, fully functional there. It is actually properly multitasking in the background. Instead of freezing an app like a lot of other OSs do. Hit pause, we'll go out. Don't know really what else to show you guys. The camera is working. Like I said, if you want to use this on the phone, GSM signal and stuff like that is apparently working. Your camera does work. You could use it, but you are going to get a lot of crashes. And I think it's just crashed again. No, yeah, it has. So uh, you can see it while I've been showing this to you. It's, uh, it's crashed twice on me, but it's expected. It's a developer preview. I don't really know what else to show you. You've got the browser here which uh, obviously isn't as smooth as iOS browser or Android browser, as you can see. It's not bad for a developer preview, but uh, actually that's that's not bad at all. <laughs> that's uh, smoother than I thought. You can see it does have some jagged moments. I really like this dual panel view that you can pull it in from the right if it works. So if I open Twitter, you can see it pulls it in in a phone view and it should load up. But again, it's a web-based app, so kind of annoying. You know, We want to see native code because native code is just faster. Definitely has potential though, guys, and I can't wait to see what else it can do. The biggest thing for me is when you plug it into a TV or monitor, you get a full OS experience. I think that's fantastic. It's great to be able to carry around a computer with you. But uh, yeah, guys, that's uh, Ubuntu for Android. And if you want to see anything else, let me know because I'm kind of like, I'm not new to Ubuntu, but I haven't used it in ages. So I've kind of forgotten exactly how to use it. And when I first installed this, I was an absolute mess in using the gestures, but now I've uh, kind of learned quite quickly and it's not bad. I'll, I'll give them that. You can see everything is gesture based. Really, really nice. Slick OS. And I definitely think when it's made for specific hardware, it will absolutely fly on it. And I do think it's uh, really nice. The big thing it does obviously need is the developers. Will the developers take to it? You know, because that's the uh, that's the big question. I am already on the home screen. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But uh, yeah, guys, that's uh, Ubuntu. Let's just try Ski Safari. I don't even, it opened up. Can I play it? Can I play it? I can't play it. Well, it opened up, but I can't play it. So annoying. But um, yeah, so that is Ubuntu, guys, for the Nexus 10 or a tablet, I should say. I can't even play music. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later.